Hello everybody and welcome back to this fourth video in the Winner in a Week series on Poker Math entitled Essentials Made Easy. My name is Dylan and in this video I'll be covering the essential statistics that you need to know and understand in especially Texas Hold'em Manager and how you can apply these um, both in-game and especially for um, using the tournament and cash game calculators that we've created for you. So that being said, I'd like to jump right into it. The outline for this video is as follows. Again, uh, I'll hold a manager overview of the primary statistics and then what I'll do is go into more detail on how I've color-coded my so-called HUD stats. Uh, HUD is basically the heads-up display and that is primarily the statistics that are shown on your tables when you're playing online as well as the pop-up statistics uh, that that entails. All that can be configured personally and yeah, basically what I'll do in this video is then show you in greater detail how I've, how I've configured that myself. And these stats, by the way, are also available, um, let's say these configurations are available for the members of our site. Um, then I've just included here these links, equity calculators, they've been covered in the previous videos in this Poker Math series. And I'll just mouse over so that you have the URL as well. And you guys, of course, already received the essential information on that. And uh, if anything wasn't clear, just check out the sites once again. Uh, tournament equity here again, based on the Nash push and call push ranges. I see him calculator, sit and go wizard as always. So here are the primary stats provided by Hold'em Manager Online. And we'll just go through the main ones and a bit of the terminology before we look at a, I think, one or two example hands just to kind of show you how that looks in play, or at least in the replay. Uh, you've got here, uh, this is for detailed information, you just go to this URL, uh, FAQHold'emManager.com. Yeah, common stats, miscellaneous stats, winnings, VPIP, PFR. Uh, VPIP very generally is voluntarily put in pot. Uh, we'll get into that just uh, below in a moment. PFR, uh, preflop raise, call open, is what most people refer to as a cold call. That means when there's one raiser before you and you just call it cold, right? You don't raise it, um, you just call normally in position and yeah. A lot of they term it, or they've they've coined it here. Call open. Um, again, a lot of people uh, you'll probably hear uh, refer to it as a cold call. Raise first, of course. Um, yeah, I think quite clear. <laughs> um, three three betting is um, what people who aren't yeah aware of online poker terminology. Three bet is just basically a re-raise pre-flop. So it means um, the first bet, right? This open raiser. He's actually um, He's actually making a so-called two bet. So basically, the blind post, the big blind post, is considered a one bet. The raise is considered a two bet, and a re-raise is then a three bet, pre-flop. Okay, squeeze is then when somebody raises, right? There's a cold caller, and you then come over the top with a three bet in position against one or more cold callers, right? So basically, what you're doing is you're squeezing the initial raiser. Limp is of course clear. That's when you just call the the blind post. Steal is um, a very yeah very complicated subject. It's um, defined as follows: whenever it's folded around to you, and you're either in the cutoff, the button, or the small blind, and then you make a raise. That's considered a steal raise. So steal uh, for you guys out there who are maybe new to this doesn't necessarily mean um, trying to steal the blinds with a weak hand. It's a positional move. It's defined as a positional move. So you can make a steal with aces. right? It's completely uh, completely irrelevant, actually, you're holding. Um, what's important is that everybody's folded to you and you make an open raise in late position, okay, or in the small blind. Aggression is very clear, of course. Um, this is a post-flop stat, check raise, um, is of course, yeah, only post-flop continuation bets are when you are the pre-flop raiser. Yeah, the last player to make that pre-flop raise, so to say. And then on the flop, you make another bet, i.e. a continuation bet. Uh, you got general bets, of course, it's clear, showdown is clear, uh, and donk bets are when, for example, you are the pre-flop raiser in position. Okay, let's say you made a squeeze. So there is an open raiser, 
a cold caller, you three bet it, i.e. you made a squeeze move, and you get called down by two players. Flop comes and somebody bets into you before you have a chance to make your, your continuation bet. That's called a donk bet. These are the primary stats, and as you see here, I think we've explained almost all of that. Uh, here they're defining the position here, early position, first two seats on full ring, um, first act and six max, middle position the next three, full ring, second act, six max, da 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 da. Cutoff is of course right in front of the button as we had in the last video. Button, small blind, big blind, okay good. Miscellaneous, um, not so important. Win rates, here's your VPIP explanation. Voluntarily put money in pot. That basically means any time you contribute any money to the pot where you're not forced to, i.e. when you're outside of the blinds. Irrespective of if you just limp or raise or re-raise, whatever. This is any time you put money in the pot out of your own free will. Pre-flop raise, we already had that, PFR. Uh, broken down by position. Call open, this is when you're facing a raise and you just call, i.e. a cold call. Uh, raise first, uh, similar to the preflop raise, except it doesn't include three bets, and it, it doesn't include raising limpers, basically an open raise without limpers before you. Uh, three bets we had, four bets is in a re-re-raise, preflop, and squeezes, we had that as well, limping is of course clear. Yeah, steals and re-steals, this is again, this is an enormous topic, you can make multiple videos just on this uh, just in this scenario, um, but as an overview for the stats that we'll be looking at, steal, uh, as I already defined it, is when it's raised around to you, you're in late position, you make an open raise. Re-steal is when you're in the small blind or the big blind, and you then re-raise. You make a three bet from an open raiser in late position when you're in the, either the small or the big blinds. Uh, there's also the stat here, fold versus steal in the big blind, uh, call versus a steal then you have this three bet, that's when you need to make a re-raise, okay, versus an open raiser in late position. Uh, fold versus a steal, da 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 Good. Aggression uh, factor, all of your bets and raises divided by your calls post-flop. Checking or folding has no effect. So basically aggressive moves divided by calls. Yeah, the factor is then broken down for each post-flop street. And the aggressive percentage is just, uh, as they define it here, Aggressive percentage can be anything from 0 to 100. This is a percentage, of course, um, based on an aggressive action on each street. So here's an example. If I bet the turn and the river, but check the flop, I would only have 66% aggressive percentage because I made two out of three aggressive actions or moves. Right? Check raises, of course, clear. Uh, continuation bets, we already had that. Um, you can also make continuation bets, of course, on the turn and the river, and those are considered... Uh, when you just make your first continuation bet on the flop, it's considered the first barrel. Uh, a C bet on the turn is in a second barrel. A lot of people define continuation bets as bluffs, as strictly as bluffs. That's false. It's, it's wrong. Continuation bets can be bluffs. Bets for value, uh, they, they, they can be bets with tops. It doesn't matter. It's simply defined as a positional move. So, for example, uh, as we just defined, um, you're the preflop raiser. You're the last player to raise preflop. And then you make another bet on the flop. That would be the first barrel or a flop, C bet. Completely irrespective of your holding, completely irrespective of what you flop. Okay, it's how you played that hand. You know, and then, of course, you have here um, three bets, da 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 coming all the way down, in position, IP, out of position, OOP. And you have, of course, C bets and check raises and all that good stuff in so-called normal pots, which are a pot where it's just raised preflop, i.e. a two bet. And then you have um, all of these stats, not all, but quite a few of these stats and broken down for uh, scenarios where you're in so-called three bet and four bet pots. Okay, so that's a big distinction. That's um, something you should also definitely be aware of when you're analyzing your stats, right? Um, some players play quite a bit differently when they're cold calling um, versus when they're yeah, calling three bets and four bets, pre-flop. Yeah, bets are, of course, clear donk bets. We had that already. 
how often somebody bets into the flop at a position after calling a pre-flop raise. So the three bet pots are not included here. Uh, just as a heads up, showdown percentage. Yeah, the winter showdown, this is quite important. This is um, yeah used in in connection with quite a few other stats to see how you should yeah, mathematically play the hand uh, given certain player types. Um, this is here, how often someone goes to showdown, i.e. their cards are shown at the end of the hand. One when you, sh when you saw the flop, uh, that's how often that's, I think, quite clear. One money at the showdown, uh, not including small pots. So went to showdown total. That's that's an important important number, and then one money at showdown. Kind of these two work hand in hand, right? To see see how these players are playing. Um, three betting percentages, and yeah, I think that's quite clear. So here, guys, we've got the hold'em manager replayer. We've seen that in quite a few videos previously. Uh, top left corner, you've got the pot. The pot odds being offered uh, expresses the ratio and as a percentage.